guys. As I promised, I will show you now how to make a good capacitor. But first, I want to thank Robert Murray Smith because with his uh, childlike joy, he gave me so much in so much inspiration for my for this hobby. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start. For the first step, we have to make uh, activated carbon. I use sugar. Sugar and potassium hydroxide. Just a little bit. Then you need something to stir. This is the the key component. Then you can uh, put something in what you believe that it make it more uh, more fine. I use in this case uh, sahne steif that's uh, whip stiffer a little bit. I use a lot of things to try it. I think this one is the best but you can try it how do you like how do you want so to get a good fine solution it's uh, when you leave it for one day and you get a, a nice sugar solution it looks like this after it, i put it in the oven by about uh, 250 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay, let's make a break. So, I had it in the oven for about uh, one hour and it looks like this. This is my first step of the carbon foam. Then I use my pipe You can see it must break easily and there is no more water inside. And close the pipe oh, with one hand not so easy yeah close the pipe and I have a hot oven I think it's over a thousand degree uh, nearly thousand degrees and I put it in for one hour if you don't have an oven you can do it in the in the firewood put the pipe in it's I think hot enough okay let's have a look see it's nice red <laughs> okay let's switch it off and cool it down after cooling it down i have here my carbon sugar foam i put it in a mixer This is a smoothie, a smoothie mixer. Work very well. <laughs> and leave it for leave it for about uh, ten minutes. After it, I will settle it down and wash it for some time and uh, some some four or five times and try it out. After washing and cleaning it, 
it became a black fine powder. Okay, that's the act active material. <laughs> 